tried a variety of different things. So starting out, we held assemblies with the whole school to try and get that message about sustainable development across to everybody and what we were trying to achieve. Then with the year eights in particular, we had lesson plans that tried to get across to them the linkage between changes they can make locally with global environmental change issues like climate change, to make them aware of the connections between how they acted locally and the global impact of that. What we were actually working towards was the Earth Summit that was going on in Rio during the summer of 2012, the follow-up to the Rio Conference of, on Sustainable Development that had occurred 20 years earlier. And we were trying to make a connection for the school to that conference. The way we did that was we set up a committee of year eights called the Joe Rios to actually plan a mini Earth Summit to be held at the New Earswick School. The committee came up with what events were going to happen, who was going to do what, and the activities we were going to do. But we also worked with them to create some videos and some messages to actually participate in the Rio conference itself. So there were two real events on that. They actually got to deliver a message that went to the Nobel laureates who were attending the symposiums in Rio, but they also did a big speech, their message on the environment and the future as they saw it and the things they were worried about. And that was also delivered to Rio. Hello, my name is Phoebe Frere and I am 13 years old. This is my question. Since the last Rio summit, the world has changed. So how will Rio 20 plus benefit the world and the environment? So building to the Earth Summit, the mini Earth Summit in, in New Earswick, we had a drop down day with all the year eight kids where they got to do various activities and events that could be presented at the Earth Summit to their friends and family. We, we created out an eco village, which is kind of a village in Malawi about how they could live sustainably. And then on the day itself, we did a variety of different things. There was lots of performances about sustainable development issues and some talks and speeches from various different people about the issues for New Earswick. Plus, the kids had come up with pledges that the local community can make to improve their local environment, and we got everybody involved in that. Well, hopefully we got a number of different outcomes. So from the lessons and all the activities building up to the Earth Summit, we think we might have influenced the knowledge that the kids had got about environment and development issues. But there were some specific outcomes as well. So the New Earswick School is great. I mean, it's an amazing building with lots of environmentally sound features to it. But through the Earth Summit and the process that we went through, we think we changed the kids' behaviour in terms of how they're using that space in the building and also the teachers. So that's reflected in two things, really. The schools join the Eco Schools programme, which will help them build towards how they use the resources in the school to make them more sustainable. And to keep that on track, the kids that were involved in the Joe Rios have now set up a schools council, an eco schools council, that will include other kids from other years to try and monitor and assess what the school's doing and keep them more environmentally aware. The other big outcome, I think, were the pledges. They were really successful on the night, lots of people made them, and hopefully that's made them think about their own personal behaviour more widely than the school, but how they can change things in New Earswick to be more sustainable.